All right, now to that blockbuster political news. Just days away from the Iowa caucuses, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie announcing just a short time ago he is suspending his campaign for the Republican nomination. Christie has been promising to do whatever is necessary to keep Donald Trump from winning the Republican nomination. CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports tonight from Des Moines. It's the right thing for me to do. In an impassioned speech tonight, Chris Christie said he was reluctant to exit, but could sure no longer see a path to victory no and didn't want to help Donald Trump get back to the Oval Office. I am going to make sure that in no way do I enable Donald Trump to ever be president of the United States again. And that's more important than my own personal ambition. The former New Jersey governor explicitly campaigned to block Trump, frequently calling out other rivals for failing to more forcefully denounce him. I would rather lose by telling the truth than lie in order to win, because this is a fight for the soul of our party and the soul of our country. And he had a final warning for voters. Anyone who is unwilling to say that he is unfit to be president of the United States is unfit themselves to be president of the United States. Meanwhile, in Iowa, the remaining candidates have just five days left until the caucuses. Tonight, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley are set to face off in their first one-on-one -on -one debate. But Trump is sharing the time slot by appearing elsewhere at a solo event. If you don't know there's a caucus coming up in Iowa, you're living under a rock. Iowa Republicans expect more personal outreach. That's why the former president, who's opting to spend time in courtrooms this week instead, sent two of his former cabinet secretaries, Ben Carson and Matt Whitaker, to address this conservative breakfast club today. But Bob Rawlings is among the Republicans looking for someone else. He voted for Trump in 2020, but says he's now leaning towards either Haley or DeSantis. I think uh, with me, um, obviously, uh, one of the issues is uh, border security and the lack of uh, good policy towards that. So I want to hear what they both have to say about plans for border security. And Ed O'Keefe joins us now from Des Moines. All right, Ed, I got to get your take on this with Chris Christie dropping out. What does it mean for candidates, especially like Nikki Haley, who is surging in New Hampshire? Well, Nora, Christie's exit is seen as a potential opening of a big lane for Haley, another mainstream Republican like the former governor. And there is a poll out this week in New Hampshire that has her just single digits behind former President Trump. But sources tell CBS News Christie has no plans to endorse Haley. In fact, tonight, before his speech in New Hampshire, he was overheard by reporters on a hot mic doubting her chances, saying, quote, she's not up to this. Nora. Mm. We will stay tuned, Ed O'Keefe, thank you. And I will join Ed and our CBS News team in Iowa, as CBS News will have full coverage of the Iowa caucuses, including special live coverage on Monday. It is very cold in Iowa. You can find us right here on CBS, the CBS News streaming app, and at cbsnews.com.